<laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm excited. I love responding to videos made about me. Hello, folks. Welcome to another video by the brilliant expat Taffy. Yes, as I said, the brilliant expat Taffy. Now, what happened? Now, folks, what this video is about... Is it about magic? And that's why you just made your glasses disappear. As you can see from the title page, it's a battle between the brilliant expat Taffy and another Welsh idiot tattooed from head to foot, foot. earrings, nose rings... How do you know I'm tattooed from head to foot? You've been looking at my OnlyFans again of a new Taff, hmm? A stupid idiot who thought he could debunk videos made by the brilliant expat Taffy. Now, folks... Yes, he just did it again! Did, did, did you see his glasses reappear? This nutter, this grossly disfigured moron... Hang on a sec, and these are insults! Try to debunk a video by the brilliant expat Taffy. He titled that, This Denier is Finished. Well, you're wrong there, creepy, because I'm not finished, I'm back here. Okay, I'll give you that one. You got me there, you're definitely not finished. But I'm sure that if we wait, just, you know, we, well, we won't have to wait too long. How old are you again, Taff? 81? 82? Now, let's see what this idiot has got to say about the brilliant expat Taffy claiming that every one of the Apollo photos were fake year on the Earth and not taken on the moon. Let's listen to what the idiot has got to say, shall we? 13 times. We're only a minute and 42 seconds into the video and he has already attacked me in an ad hominem fashion 13 times. Idiot, tapping from head to foot. Idiot, the earrings, nose rings. A stupid idiot, this nutter, grossly disfigured, wow. creepy, moron, idiot, a stupid idiot, idiot. Did NASA fake the moon landing photos? Was this photo really taken in orbit around the moon? Why does expat Taffy refer to himself as brilliant? Join me as we delve into the topic of human space exploration and ask the question, what is NASA hiding? Please subscribe. Yes. Screw me. Screw you. Uh, no thanks. Let's get into it. And I'll show everybody what NASA's hiding and show everybody that you were too thick to bloody spot what NASA's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we're all here for, Taff, so go for it. Now, folks, what the video here is about is a photo claimed by NASA to be the Apollo 11 LEM orbiting the moon before they landed. Yeah, hang on a second. We will get to that, I promise. Is this just going to be another expat taffy video where you look at a picture and go, see, it looks fake? Because if it is, you needn't bother, because that's not debunking anything. And the brilliant expat taffy proved it to be fake, with a number of anomalies in it. And this dumbass creaky blinder wants to disprove the brilliant expat Taffy's findings. Let me show you the photo. And here's the photo of that. Sounds like he's fallen down a well. What the hell's going on now? Supposed to be Apollo 11, 11, orbiting the moon. A photo taken from the command module, and as Creaky states, taken through a pane of glass. But as you're gonna see, the idiot is talking through his arse. Well, Creepy, we're gonna find out the authenticity of the photos because once a week I'm going to be putting a photo to you with the link and ask you to state, make a video saying whether you think it's genuine and taken on the moon because I can do a debunking video up for you every week and show everybody week by week what a crap you are. And how's that going for you, Taff? I mean, you published this video on January the 23rd. It's now February the 22nd, and I haven't received even a single photograph from you. So, yeah, you're not exactly Mr. Consistency, are you? And you actually expect me to make a video responding every time you make a video, or just as and when I see fit? Like today. It'd be like the old videos I done, morons gaily. Now, I'm not going to stoop to your level and call you stupid, but you did just say something very stupid. You've mentioned these daily videos before, and then you put them out about once every three weeks. That's not daily. Daily means you do one on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the cycle repeats. 
realize that what you do is not research. All you do is look at a photo, show your complete lack of understanding, call it fake, and then laugh like a demented garden gnome. <laughs> <laughs> what a frigging plat. You must have grown some balls over the last two months, Craig Creaky, when you heard that I finished with YouTube. And I was going blind. You thought, oh, here's my chance to take on the brilliant expat Taffy. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely what it was, Taff. I waited until you were incapacitated before I started making videos about you. You made a mistake, Creaky. You got a lot coming. He just threatened me. I got my sight back. This is war. I'm gonna show everybody what a stupid friggin' prat you are. Now what the brilliant expat Taffy will do here now first is give you an example how I analyze photos. And let's see what you got to say about this. And did you want me to wait until after you show the photo? Or, because I can answer now. Okay, Creaky. Take a look at this photo here. I'm looking. Claim to be taken by Neil Armstrong from inside the lamb on the moon, like you say, Creaky. <laughs> can you spot anything? Wrong with that, Creaky? Oh really? No, it looks like a pretty standard moon landing picture. And they weren't taken on the moon because I say they were taken on the moon. They were taken on the moon because, well, they were taken on the moon. Okay, Creaky, what do you think of that photo? According to you, I just look at the photo and say, I think it's fake, and that's it. <laughs> I'm going to show you what a frat you are, Creepy. <laughs> now what Nasser is saying here is Neil is inside the lem. He's looking out and he's taking a photo of the surface of the moon outside the door of the lem. And the uh, sloping black shadow on the left, they claim, is a shadow that the light in the lem is casting Neil's arm, uh, Neil Armstrong's shadow on the surface of the moon. Okay, so far so good then. Now, creepy. Not that you'll understand this, but. The first thing I notice with that, suspicious, is the slope of the horizon. Not exactly a smoking gun though, is it Taff? All that tells me is that whoever took that photograph didn't hold the camera level when they did. You haven't got the brains to know why that is wrong. i let you know later on. But according to NASA, Neil Armstrong was pissed when he was taking every photo because sometimes he's got the, photo, the landscape going up to the right Sometimes it's down. Is that it? Is that your proof that that image is fake? Seriously, Taff? I expected better from a fellow Welshman. He's never got it straight. They claim he was holding the camera and he didn't hold it straight. Back or forth. They claim he was pissed. Do they? Do they really? I seriously doubt it. And unless you're about to provide us with a citation that backs that up as a statement coming from NASA, then I'm afraid nobody's going to believe you, Taff. Which I know you're probably used to, but sorry to do it to you again. I've just had an idea and I really hope it helps you out, Taff. Maybe you could provide that citation in, th you know, in three weeks time when you publish your next daily upload. <laughs> I can assure you that the place that photo was taken there is no slope on the ground. It's perfectly flat. But how would you know that? Unless, of course, you yourself have been to the moon. Oh, no, wait, that wouldn't work, was it? Because you think nobody has. Remember when I said you just look at pictures and say, aha, it looks fake to me? Well, you wouldn't have the brains to know why that is fake. And the next thing I'll show you is look at a straight post you can see sticking in the ground. It surprises me that you called it a post staff rather than a solar wind staff, which is what it is. And I would have expected much, much better from YouTube's premier moon landing debunker. What that is supposed to be is a solar wind instrument. Okay, well, I retract my previous statement. You got two out of the three words right, so I'll give you that one. Okay, creepy. Take a look at this photo here now. This is one showing the same area, but there is the solar wind instrument sticking up. Oh my word, he's making it, he's making this so difficult for me, but I promised myself I was not gonna call him stupid. And I want, I really, really want. Is he saying stupid things? Well, you be the judge of it. Let me know in the comments below. Is he a stupid person? No, of course he's not, he's Welsh. Look. 
I'm not a photography expert. Now, I could reach out and ask Dave McKeegan. I, there's, there's any number of people I could ask. But even I can see that that photo is taken from more or less the opposite angle. And we'll get to why you can't see the shadow in just a second. And look how wide it is. It's about a foot wide. And look at the shadow at the bottom. The shadow at the bottom there is quite wide compared to the shadow in the other photo, which is just a thin straight line. Now, I'm not going to give you all the details of this photo. Creepy. But I'll tell you one thing, in this photo, if you had the brains to find it, which you haven't, you can find out that NASA are lying when they say the slope on the horizon is due to Neil Armstrong not holding the camera vertical. Well, okay, let's waste a few minutes of my life I'm never getting back. The moon's surface lacks an atmosphere, which means there is no atmospheric scattering of sunlight. Shadows on the moon can therefore appear sharper or less defined depending on the angle of the sun or, and the surface texture, as well as the object's orientation. If the sun was directly behind the camera, the sail's shadow could be hidden by the instrument's staff or be very faint due to the alignment with the sun, so it would seem tough that you and every other moon landing denier is judging the photographs taken on the moon by the same standards we see in photographs taken here on Earth. And in fact, what you just said strengthens the argument that this photograph was taken on the moon, because if it was taken on Earth, the lighting would be perfect in every single photograph. But it's not, because they were taken on the moon. And the moon behaves differently. And just in case you've lost your place, Taff, this is where you call me an idiot and then laugh. There you are, creepy. Study that photo, and I bet you haven't got the brains to spot the evidence that shows that NASA are lying. Yeah, that's what it is, Taff. You've caught me out yet again. No, creepy. Remember your words? I just look at the photo and say, uh, I think it's fake. But well, that's exactly what you just did. Now that error where it's not showing the shadow from the solar wind instrument, when I first displayed that, oh, we got Pop Robson and all the others trying to make up for NASA saying, um, oh, they, 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 they took it off and put it back in the lens. Well, no, I don't mind admitting that I didn't think of that, but that's another very plausible possibility. Either the sail section of the solar wind staff hadn't been put on the staff itself yet, or it had already been removed before the photograph was taken. Now, why would they bring equipment out of the LEM, put it on the moon to do experiments with, and then take it back off and put it back in the LEM? But maybe they dismantled it and put it back in the LEM to move it to a different location on the moon, because the moon's pretty big, Taff, so that they could conduct more experiments using the same piece of equipment in a different location. When they were only on the moon for about, or only working on the moon for about two and a half hours. I think you may have had a slip of the tongue there, Taff. I think what you meant to say is they were only on the surface of the moon for 21 hours and 36 minutes. Where the hell does this guy get his information? Stupid question. My bad. See, that's the difference between you and me. You are an idiot, can't spot the evidence. I'm the genius. <laughs> <laughs> I spotted it. And another thing, just ask yourself, if you take a photo of anything, it should be perfect. There shouldn't be any anomalies, there should be no questions asked. And then there's no need to make up any excuses like we do. Exactly! Thank you, Taff! So don't you think that if the moon landing photos had been faked, they would have made them perfect so that nobody, no geniuses like you, would ever be able to find out? Well, 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 look at that. What have we got here now? Now, I've got to be honest, I was just about to call time on this video, but after seeing this on the screen, there is no way I'm stopping now. Forehead, eyes and lips. A black shadow brightened up and it becomes green. <laughs> now, that is something that's impossible, creaky. Not when you're using low-resolution versions of the image, it's not tough. Now, I happen to know a guy, namely Dave McKeegan. Now, Dave is a professional photographer, and he's done exactly what you think you're doing. No green to be seen. Something that's impossible. And remember what you said about Dave McKeegan is a better foot? 
at photography than the brilliant expat Taffy? Well, he's scared to face the brilliant expat Taffy as well. <laughs> I'm not scared. But no, he isn't. Nobody is scared to face you. It's just people are sick and tired of your childish nonsense. Now, what's this image you? Does that look like Buzz Aldrin? Does that look like Neil Armstrong to you? A green figure, and you can see a forehead, you can see an eye, you can see a nose, you can see a top lip, a bottom lip, and a chin. Now we can put that statement down to a couple of possibilities. Possibility one, it's simply pareidolia. You're seeing what you want to see, Taff. Possibility two, I do know that uh, the old devil's cabbage is now completely legal in Thailand, so have you been partaking? And it's green. Now when I first seen this, my first thoughts was they put in an image of uh, the Incredible Hulk. But some of my supporters... Supporters? Taff, you've got 150 subscribers and I know for a fact that at least 50% of them are soccer counts who are only there to make fun of you. Don't, don't, don't ask me how I know though. Right, there's a hell of a lot more to Taft's video, so if this video does well, or if enough of you ask me in the comments below, we'll make a part two. Let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again in a couple of days. Oh, you're still here then. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new. If you did, then you'll probably enjoy this video as well. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all again very soon or in a few minutes if you do decide to watch this recommended video. <laughs> Love you, bye.